Welcome to Mattress Talk TV. I'm your host, Phil Dameron, and this episode is What to Expect from Your New Mattress, and it's the last in our series of Mattress Shopping 101. Well, you've done your research, you've laid down on a lot of mattresses, and hopefully with the help of a good salesperson, you've picked the mattress of your dreams, and you want to go home tonight and sleep like a baby. Hopefully you do, but if you don't, don't get too excited. It's very common for someone to buy their new mattress and actually take a week or two, sometimes three, to get used to that new mattress. If your old mattress was not supporting your back properly and you weren't sleeping flat and you're sleeping like this, your new mattress is going to lift your back up. Those vertebrae need some time of adjustment, so sometimes it's not quite comfortable at first. Don't let that dissuade you. At least try it two or three weeks and give it, a, give it a chance. It should feel great. The other thing to remember too is in our showrooms, the mattresses have been tested, they've been laying on, they've been tried out a little bit. So they feel different than the one that comes to your house that's brand new in the wrapper. So don't get too excited. Now after you've had that new mattress for maybe a month or two, it's not uncommon to get a slight indentation into your mattress. This is called the body signature. It's just your mattress breaking into you. It's, it's adjusting to you, and that padding is going to kind of mold to you a little bit. A little bit of indentation is normal. So once again, don't get too excited. Now, if you're getting a deep indentation of an inch and a half or greater, that's a warranty issue. And then you need either contact your retail location or get on the internet or on the phone and call your manufacturer and start a warranty process. That's very rare. A new mattress very rarely fails in the first couple months. Not unheard of, but it can happen. So you get home, you get your brand new mattress. One thing you should, should consider is a good pair of linens for your new bed what a huge difference it makes. We've all been to hotels where the sheets are all scratchy and stiff or they're creased and you just can't get comfortable. It's like wearing a, a good pair of clothes. If you've got a good pair of pants on or if ladies have a nice dress that feels comfortable on your body, just like that. You get a nice pair of sheets, you can't wait to slide into bed. I know for myself, I searched for the longest time to find a good, good set of linens. And we did about two years ago. I love them. Can't wait to go home and they are fantastic. So sometimes they can cost a little money, but if you do these things, you increase your chances of a better night's sleep. Also in that same thought, what about a new pillow? If you have a pillow, it's supporting you properly, you're not getting any neck aches, it's comfortable, by all means keep it. But when you're thinking about a new mattress, you might think about a new pillow as well try that out. But again, if you're happy with your pillow, stick with it. The whole goal is to get you the best night's sleep that we possibly can. I know that's my store's policy and the policy of a lot of places nationwide. So hopefully, with the information we've given you in this series, it gives you a, 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 way, a stepping stone, a place to start in your search for a new mattress. I could literally put a lot more episodes out there but it gets redundant and you need to find a salesperson that's going to help you because there's a lot of questions I would need to ask you to help you get a good night's sleep. We're going to start a new episode, our new series of episodes here in just another week or two called Under the Hood or What's in a Mattress and we're going to go back in our warehouse and we're going to actually cut some mattresses open so you can see what they look like inside and we can show you how different things wear differently. So we hope you get a good night's sleep, and we hope you get a great mattress. Thank you for watching Mattress Talk TV.